Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. This is Coon Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Uh, it's weighing day, just about. Uh, delighted to be joined by Alexis Dimitriades. Have I pronounced that correctly, you sir? It. You got it. So, okay, so for people that don't know, um, you've become kind of a, a bit of a mystery figure this week as uh, the head trainer of, of Derek Dezora, who's obviously in action tomorrow night against Alexander Usek. So, just kind of give me a background of yourself and how you've become involved with Derek. Um, I've been training in combat uh, pretty much my whole life. I've, um, I trained a, a fair few people. I trained Dylan White, actually, for uh, MMA for a couple of years. Trained uh, David Hay for a stint. Um, always been a sort of friend of his for a long time. And I trained Derek for his last four or five fights now, just um, in the Haymaker sort of camp. Because I think your name's been referred to this week from, from David Hay more so spoke for everyone this week but um, I suppose you might not be too familiar uh, with the boxing kind of public or whatever is that is that fair to say yeah for sure I mean I, I, I do lots of uh, MMA fights so not I mean I've, I've, I've been in boxing corners before but never uh, the head trainer before um, intriguing fight for many many reasons um, we're looking at Derek Chisora in in great shape uh, David Hay says it's the best shape that Derek's ever been in. Is that is that accurate? Yeah, it's, it's fair to say. I mean, we've we've been you know for the last four or five fights now. I've been working with Derek, and you know numbers don't lie. So sort of like I understand pushing a, a fight and making it making it look great, but to be realistic, we have to look at numbers. You know, all the runs he's been doing, he's been doing them faster and better. The lifting, the sparring, everything's been going better and better. Uh, so you can't really, you know, the, the truth is where it is. It's going to be in the ring. So we've done lots and lots of rounds for this camp and he's performing really, really well and kind of form, you know, slotting into the camp a lot better. It, it seems as though, <coughs> I mean, I was talking to um, Dave Corwell yesterday and he told me that Derek had mentioned Alexander Usyk's name to him over two years ago. When was the first kind of point that Derek spoke to yourself about even wanting to fight someone like Alexander Usyk? I think sort of when no one else is mentioning his name. That's the kind of character that, uh, that Derek is. The fact that you've got all the top boys who have got huge fights coming up and they're all great in their own right. But none of them are really talking about Usyk. He's kind of like the boogeyman. No one really wants to go near him. He's obviously, you know, uh, Olympian, world champion, you know, fantastic uh, uh, a boxer. And his name isn't mentioned by people. And that's something that I think excites Derek and it excites uh, uh, me. And it's part of a fight that, you know, from a, from a fighter's point of view, from a coach's point of view, that's the kind of fight you want to be in. You know, you want to be against the best guy on the planet on the biggest show, uh, having these sort of fights for the public. I think, I think that's what they want to see. Kind of seeing guys avoid each other, you know, is uh, you, you see top, top level guys and they're, they're, you know, I understand getting to the top of your career and then having those fights. But Derek's at a stage now in his career where he's performing really well. So why not take these fights, you know, for the public and for himself? Uh, Derek said quite a few uh, interesting things in yesterday's press conference. Um, one of the quotes he gave from yesterday was, he may be losing 11 rounds of the fight, but there's always round 12. Yeah, um, that's Derek for you. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, ultimately, Usyk has to be perfect for 12 rounds. And we have to be perfect for a punch. You know, we're, we're, the, bigger, we're the bigger man with the bigger punch. Usyk has got every attribute, you know, the, the boxing can give you. He's a fantastic boxer, offensively and defensively. His bounce is fantastic and his pedigree is exceptional. And what we've got to do is not turn it into a boxing fight. But, you know, as I'm sure you've heard David say and a lot of the other guys, turn, you know, make it a little bit rough and work. But there's also certain lines and positions that we have to follow to stay safe. And there's an element of us not punching ourselves out as well, punching on the arms and not getting accurate. We've got to make sure that, A, we close the distance correctly, and B, when we do close the distance, that we're doing enough damage to make it effective. David's made many references this week uh, to the fact that Derek is not going to outskill someone like Alexander Usyk, whose skill set is probably better than anyone's in, in, in modern-day boxing. He, he has to turn it into a dogfight. Yeah, I mean, 
there's, you know, there, there's skill in a dogfight. That's something that, that I think boxers will, you know, fighting men will know about. That, you know, it might look ugly, but there's a lot of skill going on on the inside. There's a lot of movement. Also, I think closing the distance is something that n n no real boxers have been successful with against Usyk. He's never really allowed you to close the distance. He's a bit of a matador and a bull. You go forward, he spins you off both ways. He spins off left, he spins off right. He's a great boxer. You know, and that's hard to deal with if you don't know how to deal with it. And I think that we've given uh, Derek the ability to potentially deal with that. And obviously, sparring, sparring, and fighting, fighting. So, you know, we've had those sparring partners, those awkward southpaws. We've, ha we've had those undefeated guys. We've had the amateurs with, you know, 90 to 100 bouts. Uh, we've had the Olympians come in. We've, we've tried to cover all bases. But again, you know, we can do what we can do in, in, in sparring. And what it turns into in the ring is what it turns into in the ring. So hopefully, we've put enough work in and we've kind of updated that computer of Derek's for him to, for him to do what we've seen him do before. Quite a few people in boxing have pointed out uh, a key element in this fight is, is the feet. Um, I wanted you to kind of just touch on that for me. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people will say, how do you beat Usyk, sit on his chest and punch all night long? It's really difficult to do that with a good southpaw. They, they, they spend their whole life not letting you get to their chest and spinning you off. So for us to get to Usyk is, uh, is, is going be, to be work, but we have our, our, our plan and our ways to do that. And then getting there, throwing the correct punches so that you're not just hitting gloves and not doing, you know, not just wasting energy and not doing the correct amount of damage. You know, that's something that we've been working on and hopefully that's something that we'll, you, know, you guys will see uh, tomorrow night. Did you catch up on the antics from the Wayne today, which were rather eventful as always with Derek? Yeah, I think um, there's a lot of respect between the two fighters and the two camps. You know, I, you know, I know Usyk uh, really respects Derek and, and, and David and uh, all of our training that we've done. And we do, you know, t to their camp as well. Obviously, they're exceptional. But there's an element of this being a fight and the friendliness has to stop, you know, for Derek. And uh, he switched it serious, which is how, he, how he's feeling. And I think that's, that's the vibe he wants to go in the fight with. And he wanted to let Usyk know that the fun and games are over and it's time to go to war. That's, that's what he wanted to do, I think. A lot of references have been made to a year ago where Usyk <laughs> made his debut at heavyweight against Chaz Witherspoon uh, because that's the only reference point there is to refer back to when you talk about Usyk as a heavyweight. So do you look at that fight and pick anything out of there that you see as potential weaknesses uh, coming into tomorrow night? No, not really. Um, I think the Witherspoon fight, be it that was short notice, I think that um, from a coaching perspective, you've got to look at Usyk being fantastic and that you don't pick uh, faults in Usyk because there aren't that many, first of all. But second of all, that that's not the thing you should go for. You should go for his strengths, things that he does all the time really, really well that you can count on him doing. That's probably a better way for me to coach uh, Derek. So we know that he's going to do this because he does it all the time and he's really good at it. But if, you know, if I said to Derek, oh, he drops his hand on when he throws this punch, maybe the next time he's corrected and he doesn't. So I think going for those sort of mistakes is a little bit of an amateur thing to do. I think for us, it's about focusing on Derek, getting the best Derek that we can to fight the best Usyk, and then the best guy will win. I think trying to break guys' games, it's a little difficult when you get to um, Usyk's level. Have you, Alexis, have you worked with anyone else, um, boxers, but in a boxing environment? Like you, you talked about Dillian White there, but f when he was doing MMA, but have you worked with boxers while they've been boxing aside from, from Derek? Yeah, I mean, I've worked with uh, David um, for, for many years. So I've, I've always been there as a friend and uh, as a coach. So, and I've trained uh, other guys in his gym. And we've had uh, sessions with um, Frampton, Josh Taylor. I mean, there's been loads of guys, Conrad Cummings. Uh, I also trained uh, another MMA fighter, Michael Page, who's started boxing as well. So, and I've trained, I mean, I've been around, I could name the amateurs as well. I've been around uh, Olympians. And there's a lot of guys, but to be honest with you, with MMA, uh, we get to fight sort of, 70 to 90 fight, fights a year, you know, and with boxing, you, you're lucky if you fight two or three, well, yeah. you know, especially in this time yeah. of year as well, you know, it's, it's, it's different. So sometimes, you know, you're, you're, you're taken off of one sport to another, but it's always been a passion of mine. I've always been uh, very involved in boxing at a, at a high level. So it's something that I'm really interested in. And to be honest with you, I'm, I'm super excited to be here um, for the camp and for the fight, but just also that, you know, that David and the team has trusted me and Derek himself, who's been around, you know, you've got to remember, Derek's been around world-class coaching. Yeah. So the fact that he's trusted me to do it, it really means a lot to me. And, I'm, you know, I put my heart and soul into everything. And, you know, it, the, the result is never the issue with me. It's a process. If you can survive the amount of rounds that we put you through 
and you can do the amount of runs and the lifting and the technical sessions and the conditioning sessions that we put you through and you've made it to the fight without any injuries and you're excited i think we've all done our job and tomorrow's going to he's just going to let it loose so i think it's going to be a great fight for people to tune in and, and, and watch how would you describe your your relationship with derek on a on a professional basis um derek comes to my gym every day and uh, I, I train him, you know, if not once, twice a day. And he knows I'm, I'm strictly business. I, you know, what I say goes um, in that environment because I think that's how a coach should be with a fighter. I'm not too, um, you know, he's got lots of friends and lots of people around him that, that, that it, he has in that capacity. I'm just not that kind of guy. I feel that we get along better in that capacity. And he respects me as a coach and I respect him as a fighter. And I wouldn't, I'm, you know, my first and foremost uh, responsibility is to make sure that I'm doing my job as best as I can. So I think sometimes when you have a different um, relationship with a fighter, that can sometimes be compromised. So for me, I, I like, you know, we get along really well, but at the same time, you know, I'm, I'm, you know I don't go out for dinner with him. I don't go for drinks with him. It's not, I'm not that kind of guy. So. Okay. Well, listen, it was uh, it's good to talk to you and obviously get your uh, kind of brief. It's late here. People don't realise it's quite late here anyway. And I've just sort of kind of probably got you uh, out. Quite late here, sorry. Um, wish you the best of luck uh, tomorrow night. Actually, by the time this comes out, this will be tonight. So wish you the best of luck uh, for tonight. And, uh, yeah, I mean, UK is behind Derek. Um, and, yeah, it should be a, a fascinating, intriguing contest tomorrow. So we're all looking forward to it. Thanks a lot. I'm looking forward to hopefully putting a, sh a good show for everyone. And no matter what happens, one thing will always be guaranteed with Derek. He will absolutely give it 100%. And he has no problem uh, you know, falling over trying. He doesn't care. He's going to go for it tomorrow. So it should be a fun fight. Will he knock him out? Yeah, that's the plan. I mean, look, the, the plan is to put as much damage as we can on him and, uh, you know, hopefully put him in waters he hasn't been in. You know, Derek's like a you know, mudslide. Once he gets hold of you, he just keeps on getting hold of you. And if you're in that kind of fight, hopefully we can get uh, him punching with us. If he punches with us, you know, we want to punch with him. That's how he wants to go. We don't want to be on the outside of that. I think, it's, you know, I, think, I think every boxing man, every fight man knows where Usyk wants to be and where we want to be. It's just about putting that game on and, and making it happen. Alexis, thank you very much for your time. And uh, hopefully we'll grab a word with you after the fight tomorrow. So I appreciate your time talking to IFL TV. Thank you. Much appreciated. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt.